taught us about Sham 69. We need one for the. Oh, here we go. Anyone out there knows Ulster Boy? Sham 69's Ulster Boy? Olsen, don't you know it? Somebody hold the lyrics. Before I do this, I'm going to keep my speech simple. Honesty, passion, faith, and urgency. That's the man I love. I'm honored to be his friend for over 40 years. I still get to play music with him, and he comes to my house, for God's sake. So, you know, I'm a lucky man. So now what we sing, Alhambra Boy, to Mr. Lance Martin. <laughs>
it could be uh, emotions and it could be fun as well as being incredibly gifted. And it was a photo of Steve Monaghan just kicking through some water. And it's always stuck with me. Um, it just, it's uh, been something that is kind of uh, grounded where I think skateboarding was. Um, I have to start with saying, I think, Enrique Esparza, the first guy to give me a skateboard. My mom and dad let me skate when I don't think parents really wanted their kids to skate. Um, my sisters who drove me to skate parks, Ronnie and Bonnie, um, dropped me off at Reseda, tell them to come pick me up, and I was at like, Colton, you know. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but uh, after that group, obviously, we're hugely influenced by Jay, Tony, Stacy, Jim, Wes, Shogo, all the guys coming out of. Uh, all the guys coming out of Santa Monica, obviously, but um, I was influenced by all these guys, all areas. I was, I, I had a huge uh, influence by the Val Surf guys, Ken Senator, Jerry Valdez, amazing. I know. Uh, the bad members came out. You know, uh, I was, it was amazing. Mickey, Steve, Dunlop, K Hunt, um, Talba. The guys from South Bay, Kevin Anderson was insane. I saw Kevin Anderson stay at that point. It was insane. He was the first guy I ever saw go switch. My friend said, that's the future of skateboarding. I said, you're an idiot. Um, um, the Schneider and uh, um, uh, Waldo. Um, the guys from San Diego, obviously. The, you got the Kona boys, the guys up north. Uh, Blackheart and Martin. Um, but uh, I was in Pasadena and um, Tom Inouye, Chris Gropo were my boys, or I was their boys, I don't know, Tom area. I went to Montebello, I went to Lakewood. Um, I started seeing the Powerflex guys, amazing group, ton of group of guys, just a lot of skaters actually, Olsen was on Powerflex at that time. Um, Mini Shred, Terry Lawrence, um, but I have to thank for me and my uh, um, generation, Bobby Valdez, thank him. Um, then I went to Skate City, and uh, I have to actually thank Greg Ty. He was the first guy that kind of shocked me around to all the sponsors and the team managers, tried to show me to them, I guess. Um, no one was interested. Um, <laughs> but the local pros there, uh, George Orton was the first pro to ever ask me if I wanted to be sponsored. I have to thank him. Um, the smoothest skateboarder I think ever lived, uh, Ray Lawrence. Rodriguez. Gave me some boards. Um, Daryl Miller gave me some boards. These guys made me think that I could maybe one day be a part of your guys' world. It was very encouraging at the time. Um, I also have to thank. Jerry, you gave me some trucks. What do you say? It is! Um, uh, but uh, the Galati family, they, they provided us a place to. Uh, live and hang out and joke around. This is where our friendships began. John and Hago and Jeff and Eric. Um, I, have to, I have to say, uh, Neil Blender, thank you very much. You should be up here before me. Um, as well as many, everyone else I mentioned, um, really gave us what we believe skateboarding was. It was a way to stay young. It was a way to have fun. It was a way to just be immature as long as you can. <laughs> I have to thank Steve Hirsch, got me sponsored. I thank Bill Losey, Matt Losey, Alan Losey, Steve Hirsch, Eric Grisham, Tony Desardo, Mike Zinke, Penny Hoffman, and Yomura. Um, I got to stay with them for a minute. Uh, insanely progressive skateboarders at the time. Thank you so much. Um, at this time, I didn't meet him. I never really knew him, but we mentioned him earlier, Henry Hester. Um, for his racing, but for the Hester series, which created the greatest generation of skateboarders that ever li live in my mind. Um, there's so many of them, I can't thank them all. Obviously, Pineapple and Bowman and Andrix. There's so many of these guys. Um, I'm going to forget everybody. It's, uh, the Gold Cup series started. I want to thank, I don't want to thank, I want to give respect to Billy Ruff and John Gibson, who schooled me. Um, and then, um, it's, I think, very important as it was collapsing, I want to give a huge thank you to Glenn. He gave me my first cover, my first interview in a magazine called Crasher. Um, Fausto, um, without him, 
he, we owe a lot to him. And uh, Mofo and uh, um, Thatcher. Um, without that interview, I don't think I would have been able to move on to the next thing, and that was about Peralta. Uh, huge thank you to Stacy Peralta, George Powell, Greg Stesic, Courtney Johnson, Todd Hastings, the whole, all the employees. Um, nothing works unless it's a, a group of guys doing everything they can do the best they can. Um, the team, obviously, Steve Cavallaro, Tony Hawk, Mike McGill, Rodney Mullen, Tommy Guerrero, Steve Stedham. Uh, but without the original Bones Brigade, Raymond Rodriguez, obviously, again, Jay Smith, Scott Foss, uh, Thank you so much, you guys. Um, Thank you, Matt. Keep it um, Sorry, we want to leave. You can go on now. A, uh, but um, as skateboarding collapsed again, I, I want to thank um, my best friend in the world, my wife. I love you. Um, my biggest joy, my son, Searle, not Lance Jr. Thank you, guys. Um, um, she uh, stood by me and helped me um, uh, just stay involved and be involved in skateboarding and then collapsed in the 90s and I had a, per a team called The Firm. I uh, had a long, long time friends, Ray Barney, Keith and Joe Gruber, um, Weston Korea, James Kwa, Pat Brennan who is, is passed away, um, Solomon Agaw, Frank Gerber, Matt Beach, um, Bob Bergman, Rodrigo TX, Javier, Uyghur, um, but without Kurt Hayashi, without John Humphreys, and without um, Anthony Clareville, none of that would have happened. Could have happened. So I, I have to thank those guys. So I have to thank uh, Jerry Foxy and Deegan, the original Flip guys, Jeff Raleigh, Tom Penny, Rude Glifberg, um, Bob Berquist, and uh, Arto Sari, David Gonzalez, <laughs> you're laughing at me, Luann, Curran, and Louie, all the new kids. Um, skateboarding just keeps, it just keeps going generation after generation. If you don't stay involved in the next generation, it just passes you. So um, uh, from Nottis and Gons and Jason yes. Lee and Eric Costin and uh, Jamie Thomas, Andrew Reynolds, Muska, these guys, um, letting me be involved in skateboarding. The, the girl family, Rick Howard and uh, Guy Mariano, Mariano, these guys, let me be involved and stay involved. I have to thank Sandy Bodecker and uh, Kevin and Hunter from Nike, letting me um, just still have a life in skateboarding. Um, each and every one of you are so important to it. W without one of the missing pieces, it would just not be the same. I love all you guys. I thank you for letting me be involved in your family and your things that you do. I love you so much. And um, let's keep joining Peters in prayer. Love you guys. <laughs> oh my god, this keeps getting better and better and better. That was so many names to be. Okay, wow. Touch some. My shirt's gonna come off soon. Blackheart, Blackheart. I love it too, buddy. Okay, okay, here we go. How amazing has this evening been so far? Yeah! I'm moving for the cops. Alright. That's about it. Oh, sure. Because for our final 1980s Skateboarding Hall of Fame inductee this evening, we have chosen perhaps one of the greatest street skateboarders who's ever lived. And man who literally can be considered the first true street professional skateboarder. For real. He is credited along with Gary Davis. Of Mark Gonzalez as being the first to attempt and perfect an ollie up onto a handrail and a rail slide down. He is also reportedly in 1987 had the very first.